Do not go anywhere. This is big breaking news that I have for you right now. This news is so big, I have to bring in my guests first as I deliver it. Joining me tonight in Jacksonville, Alabama, professor of forensics at Jacksonville State University, forensic media analyst and former senior investigator for the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office, Joseph Scott Morgan is with us in San Diego, California, retired director of the San Diego Police Department Crime Lab, Jennifer Shen. Joseph, Jennifer, I wanted you both here for this breaking news that I'm delivering now that I just got, okay? Missing mom from Medina, Ohio, Jane Maloda, has been found. Awesome. Un wow. She wow. is okay. There, there's oh a picture gosh. of her. Great. She is 100% okay tonight. All the information that we're getting so far, the limited information, is that apparently she left of her own volition and is safe tonight. Jane Maloda has been found safe tonight. Uh, let me bring back in Joseph Scott Morgan and Jennifer Shen. Joseph, uh, too many times we've done this story and it's not this ending. This is a good ending. Boy, it is. I, I don't... No slight against you, Vinny. I don't remember a time when we've had this kind of good news. This is this is amazing. It truly is. What a blessing. I'm so happy for her family. I'm so happy for her son, who we've talked about extensively, who has uh, who has autism, and of course her father. I mean her her husband that was brave enough to go on the air and begin to talk about uh, his need to find his wife. I think this is remarkable. Absolutely remarkable, Ben. Jennifer Shen, um, this is a this is a, a huge development, a great development. I'm so, you know, so glad that we can deliver this news tonight. Now, whatever happened, happened. But the bottom line is she's safe. Warren uh, Malota's wife has now been located. He was worried to death. We, we saw him. Yeah. Um, your reaction tonight, Jennifer? I, I am so excited. I'm so excited. Um, you know, I'm not uh, hugely surprised at this because we talked extensively about the situation, but there's not been many times in my career where I have had this kind of outcome in cases that I've been following. I remember them when because they're so big. So I'm, I'm just yeah. so excited and so happy about this. Oh. Really, really happy. I am too. And guess who's joining us by phone now in Medina, Ohio? Jane Malota's husband, Warren, is back with us. Warren, um, when I got this news, the, I, it's rare that we get to have this type of news at, at Court TV, but this is, we're excited. I can't imagine what you're thinking tonight. What are you, what are you feeling and thinking right now, Warren? Just tremendous relief that she's okay. Oh, yeah. And we're ready for her to come back here and we'll take care of things. That is, that is amazing. When did you get word, uh, Warren? It was about 4, 4.30. That is great. And, and your son is uh, obviously relieved as well? Yes, he's very happy. Um, I, I can hear the emotion in your voice. Um, she's safe. Um, I don't need to pry any more, Warren, into exactly what happened here. I, I just want you to know um, that we are happy and happy for you, happy for your son, and anything else you want folks to know, um, I'll, just, I'll just give you a moment here. And, and we appreciate you coming on, by the way. Well, I just appreciate all the work that law enforcement put into this. It was a tremendous effort, and they finally did find her. Um, but they went above and beyond the things that I didn't even know they could do. <laughs> Especially the license plate scanning was the, uh, mm -hmm. the key factor. But, I mean, sending up drones, everybody thought she drove into a pond or something. But that's not at all what happened. Not at all. Not at all. And Ooh. and again, if if you want to share, you can share. But if you don't, Warren, I I I don't need to pry into your business. But just let us know whatever you want to let us know. Well, I mean, the search was isolated in the local area, and she was hundreds of miles from the local area. So, and everything I thought about her seeking something for her hip was wrong. It's just <laughs> weird things. Yeah. Well, um, Warren, I don't want to take... It's finally over. Go, go ahead. But it's finally over, though, so I'm very relieved. Uh, you're relieved. We're relieved. Law enforcement going above and beyond. Um, 
Uh, Warren Malota, uh, thank you so much, um, and best to you and your family. And I know this has been an extremely difficult situation for you, but at least a, a sigh of relief tonight. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Warren. Okay, thank you. All right. Joseph Scott Morgan, how about that? Um, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. You know, so many, so many of these cases are so very tragic, Ben, that we've covered you and I for years now. And to have something that is, uh, it's, it's celebratory, uh, you know, because listen, no matter what's going on at home uh, it, with anybody, with anybody, you still got a chance if you're still alive and you can still move forward. And that's, that's the greatest blessing of all, that they'll be reunited in some manner, some way. And whatever happens, happens, man. You're still, you're still breathing air. And that's the air freedom. And that's, that's good news. Yeah, Jennifer, I could I could hear it in in, in Warren's voice, um, the relief, the emotion. Um, it, yeah, it, there may be some difficult moments here that when they're reunited, but um, thanking law enforcement, you know, law enforcement using the tools, and and when he mm -hmm. said go above and beyond, you know, too often we we kind of have families sometimes that are frustrated because they don't know everything that law enforcement is doing, and when he found out all that they were doing, he was a little surprised. Yeah, and there are so many things that law enforcement can do. And he mentioned the license plate readers, and those that is a, just a powerful tool. And I've seen it used uh, again and again in actually locating missing persons because you can uh, you can find them. Uh, you know, when they drive in certain places, you can catch that license plate number, and then the, if there's an alert, you can find them. So I'm not surprised that that was a tool that was used. Uh, it's it's very successful when you're trying to locate people who have just sort of vanished. So I, I'm just really, really excited. It's it's so, so great to, to hear good news once in a while. And I, my, my heart is happy right now. It, it really, really is. Uh, and Joseph, the other part of this, right, hundreds of miles away. So the initial search is going to be close, yeah. right? Because that's where her family is, her son, where she works, and all of that area. Yet, um, apparently, she wanted to kind of go off the grid and, and go somewhere, wherever she went, hundreds of miles away. Yeah. Uh, but law enforcement has a way of, of communicating. Like you, you, you may do the immediate mm -hmm. search here, but it's that cooperation and, and the use of, of the technology. Yeah, it is. And think of it as a big spider web, but it begins kind of concentrically. And then we work outward uh, like this. And this is that's what you have to do. You always begin at home, right, Ben? You begin with those places that that the uh, victim uh, is familiar with, that they frequent, that sort of thing. And then, you know, you you extend outward. The, uh, the problem is, is that most time when you begin to ex extend outward, hope begins to fade at that moment in time because you've kind of exhausted everything. That's why, you know, I concur with, with Jen here that this is absolutely amazing. Uh, the police did know more than they were saying, and they mm -hmm. kept on it. You know, they just kept hammering away. And they found her, as Warren had mentioned, several hundred miles away, which is uh, when it all shakes out, I'll, I'll be very interested to find out where she was found and at what distance specifically. She had time to get some distance away from this location. Yeah, and, and I'm thinking about what Warren went through because, you know, we got to see him in the moment in that <clears throat> interview that he did uh, with, our, with our local yeah. affiliate when that phone rang and he ran to answer it looking for an answer. Told me everything I needed to know uh, about Warren Malota, that uh, this is a man who was desperate to find his wife and didn't understand what was going on. And, um, you know, th it'll all be figured out. How about Jennifer Shen, the member of law enforcement, that gets to make that phone call. How do you decide who gets to make the phone call with the good news? <laughs> you know, usually it's uh, one of the people in charge who gets to make that phone call. Um, but, you know, these are really team efforts. And, you know, sometimes you have to make terrible phone calls that are just mm. heart-wrenching and awful. And sometimes you get to make the good ones. So I'm, uh, I'm guessing it's someone who worked closely uh, who had a really strong attachment to that case that got to do that. So... What a, Absolutely. What a fabulous phone call. Absolutely. To make, you know, honestly. 